Altitude. News you can use. The band Everclear, one of the biggest modern rock artists in the 90s, are back with a brand new album titled Welcome to the Drama Club. I caught up with frontman Art Alexakis to find out exactly what they've been up to the last three years since their last release. We've been busy. What can I say? You know, we, we made a new record. I went through a lot of crap in my life. I got divorced. And new members in the band went through bankruptcy. Um, my daughter started in high school in about four days. Um, been a little busy. Now, how is it like with a daughter starting high school, not knowing all the stuff that you've seen throughout the years? It sucks. <laughs> it's going to be tough, huh? It's karma. Yeah, I got, I got a lot of karma coming back to me. One reason there's a big buzz surrounding the new record is a controversial video for the album's first single, Hater, which Art says is the ultimate breakup song and features a fictional Hater Jesus character. This video for Hater is causing an uproar. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I know. Now, well, uh, tell us how this video came about, the concept. I wanted to go in like a 180 degree different direction that still dealt with hate, mm -hmm. you know? And we either went politically or, or in the religious sector, and these different guys wrote different treatments. And this one guy, uh, Chris Spencer, wrote this awesome treatment about this hater Jesus of Portland, Oregon, and uh, really low budget, handheld digital camera, we shot it in like three days, no permits, just yeah. running around the streets of Portland, you know, oh, the cops are coming, okay. Gorilla style. Yeah, gorilla style, it was awesome. And I thought it came out great, it was funny, um, and yeah, it pissed off a lot of people. One person in particular who got his feathers ruffled over it was Fox News interrogator Bill O'Reilly, who Art went mano a mano with on live television. So is Bill O'Reilly as pompous as he seems yeah. on television? He is, right? The truth? You know, I it, was, you tell me the it truth. was like talking to my mom. Yeah. You know? I mean, she just, you, he'll just talk over you. He's, he's an old person. He just talks over you. And I, I actually was going, Bill, 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 Bill. I actually shut him up two times. Mm -hmm. Two or three times. I'm pretty proud of that. You know, he's like, well, why don't you have a disclaimer on this? And I'm like, well, it's not really art if you have to put a disclaimer on it. This is expression. It's artistic expression. He goes, well, I'm an artist. And I go, wait a minute. <laughs> You're an artist? You're not, no, he's not an You're artist. You're a journalist. Don't be creative with the news. <laughs> Tell the news. And finally, since art has seen and heard it all in the music business, I asked him about the state of music in 2006. What do you see in the music business today that just kind of makes you cringe? I think music is really at a really boring place right now. I think a lot of the new bands coming out are just really mediocre. And I, I think that's exciting because I think something's going to come out like Nirvana did, like James Addiction did, that will excite rock fans again, that will get people fired up. Probably piss off the old guard, you know, but that will come out and will really just... God bless, let's hope so. I think so. And make sure you check out Everclear's new album, Welcome to the Drama, which hits stores everywhere on September 12th.